Hello, my fellow geeks. I'm Mark, and today on Elite Geek, we're going to talk about NFEP. This is EPAX X1 NFEP, and this is EPAX E10 slash X10 NFEP. So NFEP is, it's FEP. It's non-FEP. It's EPAX proprietary FEP blend. It's similar to FEP, but it's not quite FEP. I'm not going to call it FEP. I know it drives some of you crazy, but I like the word FEP. So we have two sizes, basically your standard size, which has been our traditional size for the Photon Mono, and I just used this and talked about it a little bit in my review of the Voxelab Proxima. It'll work in the EPAX X1, E6, obviously, and any of them around that size, the smaller six inch size. And then this is for the larger format printers like the Mono X or the E10, X10, the Elegoo Saturn. It'll work on any of those larger printers. It'll work on my Frozen Mighty when it gets here that has shipped and will be here very soon. So we're gonna look at this first. This comes in a three pack. I've used one of these. In this package, at least I went through a, a whole package in my other vats because I have a lot of vats for the mono. So I did quite a bit of testing on that first. So it's very flimsy. They say it's 0.125 millimeters thick. So it's a little thinner than what I normally recommend of the 0.15. And that's what I had been using for everything else and I've always recommended, but it's still better than the 0.1. It still feels pretty thick. Let's see, if I take my calipers and zero them out, they should show up as 0 0.12, 0 0.13 for me. 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.13. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking fractions, hundreds of a millimeter here, so you'll have a little bit of variation there. Compare this with the regular FEP that I have been using. Now, one thing to note, the NFEP here does not come with a protective coating. There's just three of them in this foam, so you don't have to worry about peeling that off. My other FEP that I've been using, it just feels, feels so much heavier. It does come with a coating on it, which I, I do like the coating. Man, it feels way thicker than that. Let's see how my balance is here. 0.13. So, you know what? This is showing pretty much the same. 0.125 probably, even though it says when I bought it 0.5 or 1.5. 1.2, so it's basically the same, but this feels much, much heavier than the NFEP, which just feels far more flexible. They say it breathes better, the air permeability is better, so it uh, pulls off better. It installs exactly, exactly the same. I filmed installing this on my Mono X and the video didn't work out, so I'm gonna redo that one. You'll see that soon. One thing that surprised me using it is it made my Voxelab Proxima quieter. I think the motor just doesn't have to work quite as hard. So when it lifts, the motor on that is very loud. And I do think it's quieter now using NFEP versus the regular FEP. So, okay, enough of that. Let's look at some models. So here's where I tried it the first. I'm gonna show you the screenshots or images of where I decided, you know, I need to try this right away. I made this sample plate for another purpose and it failed spectacularly. Like I had lots of models just not stick at all. And this was the case where it's like, okay, well, I wanna try this exact same thing with NFEP. So I took it off, I put the NFEP on my, this is the Voxelab Proxima. I put it on there and then tried the exact same file again. And it wasn't perfect. I still had some failures, but it was much, much improved. It actually was successful for the most part. The only thing that really didn't work was the Amerilabs. What I found was it was just more forgiving because when I looked at this file, I had converted this file and exported it to STLs and then re-imported it in Chitubox and exported it into the file format. And I think the supports just weren't well done. And I once I realized that, I kind of thought that would be the perfect test for this just to see how much more forgiving the NFEP was. And, and you can kind of see here, it still wasn't perfect. The cube still failed on part of it. I found my Voxelab Proxima was also a little bit out of level. So I undid that and redid the level and then I've had perfect prints ever since then. So if I had leveled it, it probably would have fixed this problem too, but the NFEP was able to give me more forgiveness in it. So I just didn't have the failures, even though everything wasn't quite right. So it's kind of nice just to know that it works out in a problem. So here's another example. I've got a spectacular failure. This was on my uh, Mono X and this side turned out pretty good, but this side just failed spectacularly. So this was with regular FEP and I printed a lot of these. It just happened to happen this time. It 
didn't work out. These are available. These are a, a Panzer IV, part of a combo kit available on EliteGeekMinis.com if you want one. If you want the STL file for this, uh, I will link that down below too, and you can actually buy those. But anyway, I'm printing these for other people, and this one is totally unusable. I, I can't sell that. So I tried it first with PTFE lube, and this is what I got with that. So it's close. It's really close. I mean, you can see here. I'll leave that there so you can see what happened there. No, I won't. It'll fall down. And with this one, I just had some failures on the wheels. So still not good enough. This side still turned out great. So it's probably partially an issue with that FEP and in that area. And PTFE Lube was able to sort that out mostly, but not, not quite. Still not good enough to sell. This goes in the scrap pile. But then I tried NFEP and well, you can see it, it turned out nearly perfectly. These are a little bit out of round. You look really, really close, but on the tabletop where you're playing the game, you, you don't notice at all. So this is a perfectly successful print that will turn out great. And uh, once I finish cleaning it up, will be one of my showcase models. I'm gonna have this one painted. So there are some results there before and after on a larger model on the Mono X. I mentioned it made my Proxima quieter, but it also let me enable Vroom on there. So this is one of the models that I've got uh, that I showed in the Proxima review video. I print a lot of these as my sample bases. And this was enabling high speed Vroom settings on my Proxima. I tried printing in Vroom before I installed the NFEP and it, it didn't work. This was a total failure. I don't think I have that model anymore. I think I just threw it away. But then after I installed the NFEP, it's like, well, I want, I want to try because if I can speed up production that much, almost double the speed, it's very, very helpful. And this one, and then I've printed several more since this was the first one, have been extremely successful. It's a little overexposed. I need to turn that down. I think I had 1.6 seconds on this and it was too much. But anyway, there is my results with NFEP. Let's put this back so you can see what it is. I have ordered more. I have some FEP here. I had this, I didn't actually show it. This is the FEP that I have been using in my Mono X, which I haven't actually used because the FEP that came with mine was very good until I started seeing those failures on the tank. I made it almost two months and probably a hundred prints with it, but I've ordered more NFEP, which is available both on Amazon or on Epax's website directly. It's a little bit cheaper on Epax's website. Amazon keeps running out and uh, there's a delay. So I ordered some more this morning to make sure I'm good and stocked up in case I need it. Because my fear is when one of these videos comes out, uh, it'll all be gone again. Just like happened when Greg posted his video last week. That's really all there is to show. Uh, it's, it's not exciting. I will have the install video of this soon, but it installs like regular FEP. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you've tested NFEP and whether it has been spectacular for you or if you can not tell the difference at all. Until next time, remember, if you're going to be a geek, be an elite geek. Yeah.